Hi everyone, welcome to our Solutions for Hospitality webinar. Um, I'm Brianna and I'm going to be hosting the webinar today. We're just going to wait a couple more minutes and see if any um, last minute people jump on and we will begin shortly. All right, we will go ahead and get started. Again, welcome everyone to today's webinar. Um, it's going to be hosted by Michael Flores, our channel partner manager, and um, we also have John Levin on the line, our product integration manager. So um, we're just going to go through some solutions for hospitality um, applications and some of the smart offerings. At the end, we will take questions. So if you do have questions, um, everyone will be on mute, but you can submit your questions and we will go through them at the end. Um, all right, and Michael, I will hand it over to you. Great, great. Thank you, Brianna. Good morning, uh, everyone. Any West Coasters on the line? And good afternoon to any East Coasters on the call. As Brianna alluded to, we're going to have uh, our solution for hospitality. Uh, webinar. We're going to kind of hit the whole front to back of of a hospitality solution. We're going to start with the point of sale, hit the kitchen and um, back office, tackle online ordering, table management, and then some self serve kiosk offerings. <clears throat> so point of sale, where we'll start there. People often ask, you know, hey, why why star? That answer is is really pretty easy. In today's POS applications, you know, a stable and reliable connection is absolutely mandatory. Um, kind of uh, star special sauce, if you will, is our SDK. That basically allows our ISVs to easily integrate star products with their software without a ton of heavy lifting or programming on their end. That uh, along with another big differentiator that's unique to STAR is our Lightning USB interface for iOS. What this does, it not only provides data communication, but also charging for your Apple device. So it, uh, one cable to do that, eliminating the need for an extra power supply. For Android and Windows, we, uh, we also have USB, serial, Ethernet interface options. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth also are options available, however, in, in a point of sale hospitality environment, those are really not preferred connections in uh, in most of those applications. And uh, as you see here, our, our TSP-143 thermal printer, that has really been our top mover in the thermal space. And then uh, our new MC Print 3, which encompasses a five-port hub, um, which is ideal for today's uh, MPOS solutions. If um, you look here, this is a picture of our MC Print 3, which is part of our M Collection suite. We have this in both 2-inch and 3-inch, and we really broke the mold when designing these and really took a look at real-world use cases, applications, and designed this from the ground, off, ground up. First off, it's uh, IPX2 rated against water. It's got front exit to prevent spills from getting inside the printer and front load for easy paper loading. Um, another, another kind of exclusive to star on this is like the electronics on this printer at the, are placed at the top of the housing. So there's no electronics on the bottom. So if liquid does happen to get inside, it does not 
uh, come in contact with any of the electronics. In addition to that, we went a step further and filled any of the open voids with foam to prevent critters from uh, from shacking up inside. Again, this is this is a real world issue. It might sound a little disgusting, but yes, in kitchen environments and hospitality, that that is uh, something that we have seen. So. Um, definitely took that into consideration when designing these. These printers are also the first of its kind to offer a hub, a hub that allows the connection of star peripherals, eliminating really a cable nightmare and clutter mess. The MC print supports our cash drawer, customer facing display, barcode scanner, uh, and 2D imager, along with a version that has lightning inter interface, eliminating multiple power supplies and cable mess by plugging directly into the back of the printer. And our scales also can communicate directly to the tablet via Bluetooth connection. So really uh, some, some unique differentiators and some, some real key value adds with the whole MC print line. Continuing our way uh, down the point of sale, we also offer our TSP 654, which handles our liner free sticky media, which um, allows 60% more than die cut with backing. So you get a lot more um, length out of that because you're not having a backing on there. This is really, if you're looking in today's market, this is the preferred printer with um, a lot of the growing food delivery applications where the package is typically labeled before it leaves or any application where a repositional, repositionable label is required like uh, lots of QSR restaurants or coffee shops, which, uh, which they see and we use, we see that a lot today. Um, in STARS continued solution reach, we also uh, went out and, and offer a standard 13 by 13 cash drawer and a 16 by 16 cash drawer. Really 13 by 13 is what we would consider low to medium volume uh, cash transactions. And then the 16 by 16 would be more high volume transactions, which um, are printer driven. We support Canadian and U.S. currency, making it real, real easy for our customers to offer a true best of breed complete solution from star so excited about that um continuing on as uh, as i mentioned on that first slide i mentioned special sauce the easy you know why star the special sauce well promo print is the creme de la creme of sauces if you will with promo print this is exclusive to star this allows the user to design create and schedule specials, advertisements, promotions, or just about any message they want to promote. This is standard on most of our printers and the cost is, is free. I say that and I have to clarify, it's not really free. I understand that um, time is money. However, Star, we don't charge for promo print. It is a, a valuable tool that we offer, but we understand again, it does require someone to create and manage. Great thing about this is you can put really any message you want. Are you hiring, you know, if a company's hiring, are you hiring? Do you have a social media site that you want to present, a, a Facebook, an Instagram, a Twitter, something like that? Um, you can also advertise what we call in-network or cross-advertise. Let's say you're in a, um, a strip mall and your restaurant, maybe you've got a yoga store, a yogurt store next to your, um, or a yoga studio, I'm sorry, a yoga studio next door to you. Maybe they're, they're using star printers as well, so you can cross advertise anybody that comes in and, and buys from you. You can also say, hey, here's a free class for first timers at the yoga yoga store next door. Um, so that's that's really exciting. We're seeing an increase of promo print use and excited to see more. It comes with promo builder, which includes templates and a promo scheduler. So basically you can go in, design, choose what to run and when. I'm super excited about promo print. It's uh, again exclusive to Star. Uh, I do want to clarify one thing on this, which you know a lot of people do ask. We intent in, intentionally stayed away from SKU, le SKU level data, so we let you guys control that. We let our resellers do that. The customers do that. Um, we do, however, basically allow the user to track or promote specific items. So, example, a restaurant may want to pr promote a specific dessert. Once the receipt is printed, the promotion is printed, and they can hand it directly to the customer. They can say, "We have a special today on on creme brulees," and um, or next visit, you can get one for free. That's something that um, 
they can do and with with promo print and that again we do not charge for that so we're super excited about promo print uh continuing in in kind of what we're seeing in today's lot of uh tablet and modern POS markets is scales so we uh, have NTEP certified with the triple interface bluetooth usb serial eliminating the need for any type of dongle for our interface as well as our common SDK. So our common SDK supports Windows, Android, and iOS, which um, obviously we're seeing really the, the favored operating system in today's kind of tablet and modern POS use. So the nice thing about this, you're looking at maybe a, a yogurt shop, a salad bar, or delis where they need to measure and weigh uh, different portion sizes. So we have these scales, these are available now, and again, being that they're NTEP certified is, um, is something that makes them obviously legal for trade. So excited about these. Every one of us has visited a restaurant and I'd like to believe any of us who are in this POS space, we always look and see, hey, what what is this customer? What are they using? What's this restaurant using? And it really, what I've seen in my experience is, is the entire MPOS space has been really a clunky, kind of piecemeal, a lot of different manufacturers making it look somewhat of kind of a, a patch job, if you will. Um, what we here at STAR decided to do was go ahead and create a series of stands called MUnite. We have these as well as our enclosures that will fit, fit the most common kind of tablets in the market, making you know the, the POS a nice integrated solution with cable management, Visa 75 and 100 to mount the tablet onto the stands, which which is great. They um, they can be mounted to the counter, and um, you know we have the Emunite Poser, which shows the TSP 100 built on there. You just mount that to the counter. The printer can be secured down. You've got a nice, stable, secure, um, rugged solution. And then we have the Emunite 3, and the Emunite 3 is unique. What I would call you know, looks similar to kind of like a garage, if you will. It enables the use of the hub that is unique to the MC Print 3 and still manage to hide all the cables behind the back with a removable cover. So um, all Amunite stands, they support full tilt. Also um, customer for, you know, full tilt, you can tilt the screen back for customer signing or customer viewing. They also support dual display, as you can see in the picture there, and custom branding via a nameplate if needed. So if a customer decided, hey, we'd like to put our logo on these, we can we can absolutely uh, accommodate that as well. So these are our Emunite stands. Now we're on to the kitchen. Now we're kind of, we just talked about the point of sale, the front of the house, if you will. Now we're kind of getting into the back where, where the magic happens. Into the kitchen, you know, historically what we've seen there is impact printers have been the choice for kitchens. However, you know, what we've seen a uh, trend of more is that open concept where, um, you know, you'll, you have the kitchens where the customers actually can see and hear what's going on. They see the food being prepared and basically with these restaurants leaning to a clean, you know, look, they're uh, obviously concerned with, with kind of the sound as well. So the thermal printer, we're seeing a little bit more increase in uses in kitchens. So, um, you know, the MC Print 3 is a great solution, especially with the LAN interface where absolute connection is a must. They cannot lose any network connection there. Um, to add to our MC Print 3, we also manufacture our MC Sound. It's a high quality sound emitting device that has a blue LED to help notify the user that something is printed or an error has occurred. It is programmable and the volume is adjustable as well. So it has 16 sounds that come standard and four different volume levels. The, the really cool thing on this is the sounds can be assigned to a specific function. So perfect, perfect example would be, let's say um, you're in a kitchen and the kitchen, a takeout order is received. So a takeout order can play a specific sound or let's say that the bar, there's a drink that uh, bar or drink order has been, you know, this, this drink is ready. So the bar can print a unique sound alerting the server what is ready and, and it also can can play another sound if there's an error so um really really unique and 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 cool device the mc sound it utilizes our common sdk 
can be installed inside of our MC Print 3 if it's desired for a real clean look as well as outside because it does have the standard um, kind of um, finish of, of, a, of a complete printer. So it, it's not a, it is aesthetically pleasing. You can mount this on the outside if where you can see the LED light if needed. So uh, real excited about the MC Print 3 and the MC Sound, which are part of our M collection suite of products. Staying in the kitchen, you know, we do have our tried and true SP742. We don't want to venture too far away from kind of what the industry is known and uses. So we do have our, our 742, which is our impact printer that supports two color printing, comes with an internal power supply and supports cloud print for online ordering. The nice thing about, about cloud print is the ability to receive data directly from the cloud and then eliminating the need for a tablet or, or terminal to to communicate with this this is again a huge um, differentiator for star and uh, if you look at speaking of online ordering and uh, the cloud in today's current solution you can see here the picture the, the um, basically the the printer would need to be connected to the host device and the printing is all done locally via the server so we support that star we support that traditional way as well however stars cloud print allows the orders to be printed directly from the cloud and are not dependent on a tablet or or a terminal. So here's kind of uh, here's an example of how this happens. A customer can place an order online from their device, and it will go directly to the printer from the cloud, which is again real nice. Ordering with uh, cloud print. This is huge in restaurants because printing orders are no longer dependent on the tablet. So if your tablet fails, no problem. The order will still be received and print. Don't have a lot of space or real estate on, you know, on your in your restaurant or on your counter for a tablet. That's okay. Just put a printer in. I mean, this this you know, they're they don't take up a lot of real estate. So this definitely can help reduce cost as well. By reducing cost, it, it eliminates the need of having a tablet for each printer. So you can add as many printers as needed where needed and obviously not need a tablet for each printer. So it's not one-to-one. -one. You can have as many printers as you need inside your restaurant. And um, obviously with the cloud print, just um, directly go through the cloud and right to the printer. Saving costs. Table management. So now we're kind of moving down the path there of the restaurant. Tables management. Think of uh, online reservations, right? I'll, I think uh, a lot of us have used online reservation apps instead of calling in direct to the restaurant to reserve tables. Uh, our MC Print 2 and MC Print 3 and TSP 100 all support promo print, as I mentioned earlier. So um, in addition to printing those advertisements, coupons, uh, promotions that I mentioned, with promo print, it actually can allow the host to attach any special notes requirements, maybe there's some allergies that you might have, uh, they can tie these directly to your reservation. So um, that's real nice, obviously, when you're just uh, doing online reservations, you can say, you know, I'm allergic to peanuts. That is then printed on the receipt using promo print, and they'll attach that to your reservation so the restaurant and server know what's going on. Maybe it's your birthday. They can also tell tell the server that you're having a birthday ahead of time. So um, in addition to that, it can print the coupons like, uh, like the one here attached while you're waiting for your table. Enjoy a drink or an appetizer on us. I mean, this, we see a huge value in this. And, and again, the cost, your time. Uh, we do not charge for promo print, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, we do understand, though, that it does require someone to create and manage the content. But this is, uh, again, um, something we're really pushing uh, as we go forward. So promo print, think of it, use it. It's, it's a, a really valuable tool. Self-serve, that is the big buzz that uh, we're hearing today. As, effic as efficiencies increase, you know, time is money. Consumers want to order what they want, when they want, want to pay for it without handing over their credit card or cash to somebody. Um, that's where self-service is coming in. Kiosks are making huge inroads in the hospitality space. And Star, we have a complete lineup of print printers specifically built for this market. 
be it our standard fully kind of case TSP 143, TSP 64, or MC Print and MC Print 3, MC Print 2 and MC Print 3. Um, we also have open frame printers for mounting inside of kiosk enclosures. So um, as you can see here, um, our kiosk printers are compact, lightweight, making them ideal to mount maybe to the inside of a door of a kiosk or maybe the inside of a sheet metal housing, kind of you can see in the picture there. Um, they basically have an optional bezel with and presenter along with the standard and large paper paper roll holder, which you know if you that way you don't have to change media as often. You can put a large paper roll in there. They're available in two inch, three inch, as well as four inch with uh, standard USB and serial interfaces. We see this again as a really really growing growing market, growing opportunity. Um, I know there's been some some talk of some companies that have exited the kiosk printer space. So please keep Star in mind with um, any of your kiosk kiosk opportunities we can send demos help with uh, integration calls from our tech support team definitely um, you know keep us in mind with kiosks so this is something we're looking forward to um, kind of rounding third base on this and looking at kind of the whole hospitality area there to summarize you may have noticed I kind of was hitting on a common printer in a lot of the slides and a lot of the applications I just went through and and really that was by design that's our MC print 3 is really a perfect product front to back covering all aspects in in a hospitality application you know star makes it easy with our common SDK cloud print and uh, promo print as you can see um, you know this this really kind of fits in all areas of a hospitality solution so, um, you know, with with that, I will kind of summarize. Uh, please don't hesitate. Reach out with any questions or more for more information. And, you know, we'll kind of, if there's any questions, I'll open it up now. And we'll have John Levin, who is our product integration manager, join us here. And we can, we can help assist with any questions. So with that, thank you, guys. Brianna? I don't know what happened to Brianna. Maybe you want to start fielding the questions or start asking them. Yep, definitely. Sorry about that. Looks like we had lost Brianna. Um, so I'll, I'll get started with some of these uh, that have come in already. Um, uh, this question about the, the cost of the new uh, MUnite stands. So we'll get our, our first inventory on those in a couple weeks, so very shortly now. But all of our distributors have pricing on those already. So you can find them on our website, find the specific part numbers, get uh, any, you know, a, an actual hard quote from your preferred technology provider. So everyone's got the, uh, the pricing on that now. Um, let's see, in the future, can the MC Print 3 uh, become wireless? Uh, that's a good question, one that we've got, uh, gotten a few times. So. Uh, Today, we do not have any kind of uh, Wi-Fi support for the MC print series of printers. Um, we're, you know, we're looking at different options to enable that. Today, the best option would be to use a, um, you know, like a small access point or something like that, which is pretty common uh, and can be quite inexpensive. So it'd be something that you'd plug into the Ethernet port of the, um, of the MC print printer. And that would act kind of as a as a bridge to your to your network uh, wirelessly. So as uh, Michael kind of alluded to in the um, in his webinar, uh, you know I, I always recommend people avoid wireless technology as much as possible in restaurants. Um, you know, especially in kitchens, it becomes really critical because you have so much metal um, with all the cooking equipment. Uh, 
so I, you know, I, I recommend avoiding it uh, whenever possible. But of course, I, I understand that it's it's not always possible or uh, financially feasible to to run cable. So we do have um, a couple models in our lineup that do have Wi-Fi support. So one in the TSB 103 series um, and one in the TSB 650 series. So you know, if you need something with Wi-Fi built in, we do have that. Um, just not specifically in the MC print uh, form factor today. Um, so the question here, what if the tablet fails? I'm assuming this is in reference to uh, Michael's comments on the uh, online ordering. So kind of the, the point we want to make, um, you know, t today online ordering services typically will have a tablet in the restaurant which is where the orders are received from. And then you have the option of printing from that tablet. So all of the printer functionality is very dependent on that tablet. So what if the tablet fails? You know, let's say you drop it on the floor and you know, the screen explodes or drop it in the fryer or whatever, um, then, then you're not getting orders. Uh, you know, you've got to fix that immediately so you can continue getting your orders. Um, but with the cloud print solution, since with cloud print, the printer is no longer connected directly to the tablet. It's connected directly to the cloud instead, just like the, the tablet is. Um, even if the tablet fails, the printer is still going to be printing orders. So by kind of disconnecting those two things, you make a more reliable, um, you know, foolproof kind of solution. Uh, let's see, how would multi, uh, multiple cloud printers work in one establishment? Um, yeah, so you can have, basically how the, the cloud print printers work is you put a, uh, put a URL, uh, you actually load that into the printer's configuration, um, and that URL is on your server, uh, and it's, it's, it's where the printer is going to look for print jobs. So basically, the printer identifies itself by MAC address so that you can uniquely identify each printer. And then you can, in kind of your database and on your server, for example, you might, you know, associate a MAC address with a friendly name like Kitchen Printer 1 or, you know, Bar Printer, Cold Prep, Hot Prep, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it. But that can all be managed in the server. Uh, let's see. Will they be in UK pounds? I'm not sure. Well, oh, the um, oh, I'm guessing this is uh, with reference to the cash drawers. Uh, so actually, the, you know, this um, the cash drawers referenced in this presentation are uh, specifically in the Americas. So we actually have a different um, line of cash drawers in the in the UK and in other markets around the world. So we can, um, you know, I can reach out. Uh, after this uh, presentation and get you in touch with our UK team to, to get you the appropriate part numbers. Oh, yes, we do have uh, we do have cash drawers uh, for the UK market. I got a question, John, here, too, that says about uh, peripherals for the MC Print 3 with the hub. Sure. Yeah, so, so can you know, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was asking which peripheral. Do we have a list of peripherals that we can – that are uh, that are supported by the MC Print 3. Yeah, we do. So that um, and you'll find that on our website is probably the best place to see exactly what models, what their part numbers are, what the specs are of what is supported. But just to go over it quickly, um, we support a 1D barcode uh, scanner from Star, so it's a very simple uh, barcode scanner we make available. Uh, we also support a 1D 2D imager from uh, from Zebra Symbol. Uh, the DS9208 model. Um, we support a, a customer-facing price display from Star. Uh, what am I missing? Um, you know, obviously cash drawer, uh, of course, through the cash drawer port. And then we're looking to expand that. So, um, you know, uh, we're always trying to make it the, the peripheral hub functionality more more valuable, more useful. So. If anyone has requests or you know sees a particular need in their market, uh, you know very much we love we love to hear that. So we're looking to kind of expand that that functionality in the future. Let's see. Can an end of day report become available if the printer is connected 
um, to a customer's EPOS system as the printers do not come with any uh, memory. So let's see, so you're looking for an NDA, uh, so that depends. So, um, uh, you know, some of the uh, printers like our TS100 printers, I believe can do that or have some functionality like that running the journal um, when using our future print uh, utilities that are loaded with the Windows driver. Um, so if you're using, you know, uh, the Windows driver, or OPAS, JPAS, um, but all on Windows, then you can do that. Otherwise, really, it, uh, yeah, it's not stored on the printer itself, so it would be something that uh, that would need to be built in into the software application. And then the uh, got one more question here about um, cloud print connectivity. So uh, asking what kind of uh, security it has as for SSL. Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, yes, it does. So it's uh, we, you know, we've built it to be a a, a quite secure uh, solution. Great. Well, thank you, the, John. Yep. Yeah. And thank everybody for attending. As you can see here, uh, I've got my contact information as well as John's. We're available for any questions or anything that comes up uh, that may come to mind. Um, love to hear from you. And again, thank you guys for your time and, and have a great rest of the day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.